Rick with you live at five with the Word of God one more time. So thankful to share God's Word. It's always a real blessing, and God knows exactly what we need and when we need it. So I'd like to share with you out of the eighth chapter of Romans. I shared part of the sermon last night out of another part of the verse out of that chapter. But this is a totally different message, and it's a wonderful chapter. Uh, it, Romans eight twenty eight sticks with all of us. We know that all things work together for the good. That's not the message either. Uh, but uh, I'd like to read to you in verse 26, a couple of verses ahead of that real well-known verse. It says, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. And I'm going to read that entire verse, that verse in its entirety in just a moment. But before I do, I'd like to speak about that word infirmity. Uh, it really, uh, the most synonymous uh, word uh, that we could use uh, to go along with it would be weaknesses, probably. Uh, but, you know, uh, we have many infirmities, many weaknesses in the flesh. We're so uh, very uh, short on our knowledge when it comes to things that be of God. We we only have what the Bible tells us, and we're not very, uh, we don't have much knowledge of, of things. Uh, we we are very limited uh, when it comes to, the, to God and to his ways and eternity and the universe and things of that nature. We know a little. Uh, whatever God opens our minds up to. But we have a lot of infirmities, don't we? We're very uh, weak. Uh, we have a lot of weaknesses. And uh, I'm glad for this verse because it helps me through my weaknesses. It helps me to understand that God uh, will guide me and help me and with all these weaknesses and infirmities and shortnesses, the short, shortcomings, I should say, that I have. Uh, and I'm sure that you would agree with me. You have the same dealings. You deal with the same things. But let's look at the whole verse now. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. Isn't that the truth? But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Now, interceding for somebody means that you, you take their place and you, you go in for them. Sort of like a lawyer intercedes for you in a courtroom. So you understand in case you don't understand that word or that verse. But the Spirit of God goes before the, uh, the, the Holy Spirit goes before the throne of God and intercedes for us like a lawyer uh, and uh, prays for us uh, groanings and utterings that we can't even imagine. I, I, Ask God to pray. I ask the Holy Spirit, please pray for me. I need I need your help. I need you to pray for me. And He does. And boy, the, His anointing is there, and and He's praying for me uh, in things and knowledge that I don't even know because of my infirmities. So if we put this verse in more context, let's back up. And I do that a lot. I like to back up a couple of verses and put them in context. I think that's a good thing, don't you? To rightly divide the word of truth the way the Bible says to. It says up in verse 23, uh, well, let's go all the way to, to 21. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Amen. Thank God that this old body will be changed in the moment in the twinkling of an eye. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. Isn't that true? Uh, we all have pains every day. Uh, we have loved ones that are sick. And uh, we have death that we deal with all the time. And uh, the pains of life uh, come all of our ways. And we, we all groan through them. And this, this is scriptural. And it's very understandable because we all know firsthand what it means, don't we? And verse 23 says, And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit. In other words, us that are close to God, and we've been saved. Uh, even us. Even we ourselves groan within ourselves. I, I could be the first one in line and say, I do this. We groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body, waiting for that new body. And the older I get, the more I groan. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even realize I'm groaning. You can, can anyone say amen to that? Uh, but I'll tell you, uh, you know, uh, life can be really hard sometimes. If it, 
That's so true. Uh, the Bible wouldn't have said to endure hardness if he didn't know we were going to have hard times. Uh, so we do. We all have hard times. And uh, uh, I love this next verse because I've uh, got it in the next two verses. But the first verse, verse 24, and one, two, three. I have hope uh, surrounded with a circle four times in this next verse and one time in the verse after it. So five times altogether. The word hope. Listen to it close. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why he, why doth he yet hope for? What doth he yet hope for? But if we hope for that which we see not, then we do with patience wait for it. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. And that's the verse we read first. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself inter maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. So, there are many things being prayed for us that we can't even utter, utter or we can't even say, we don't even know. And uh, he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know, then we get to verse 8, 28, the one that's so popular. So many of you Christians know this verse by heart. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. I wasn't planning on reading that far. But as I'm preaching today, I'm feeling a little infirm myself, a little weak myself. Uh, so I desire your prayers. But the word of God must go out, and the Bible teaches me to preach in, be instant in season and out of season. And so I'm intending to. I'm going to preach the word of God. Just like the, the old preacher said about praying. Remember I taught you that if you listen to my sermons. He said there's two times to pray, just two, when you feel like it and when you don't. I, feel, I figure it's the same way with preaching. God calls a man to preach. There's two times to preach when you feel like it and when you don't. Well, I feel like it. I feel like preaching. I'm just uh, dealing with a few infirmities today and a few sorrows. But I'm really grateful uh, for the privilege and the opportunity one more time to share the Word of God. And I'm thinking as I'm reading this, thank God for His Holy Spirit praying for me. Let's pray to Him right now together. And if you haven't been praying lately, I'm, I'm inviting you to pray with me. Our most kind and our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege to come to you in prayer. We thank you for praying for us. We pray that you'll continue to pray for us. I pray for prayer. God, I pray for prayers for myself around the throne. God, that you'll help me to deal with my infirmities. God, that you'll help me to be stronger, help me be more zealous for your ways, in your ways, and to be the kind of Christian you'd have me to be, that I might help others to get saved and make it home where you are. Jesus, you said you go away to prepare us a place that where you are we could be too. And we thank you for that. And I trust and pray you help us to spread the gospel while there's time. Bless these lips of clay one more time and give us the strength we need in Jesus' name. Amen. He bears our infirmities. Thank God. The Bible says to cast all your care upon him because he cares for you. Isn't that a wonderful scripture? Isn't it good to know that Jesus loves us so much uh, that he hung on the cross and died uh, to bear all of our sins on the cross? Uh, and now the Holy Spirit uh, is here on earth uh, uh, making intercession for us like a lawyer pleading our case every day. Uh, I can just hear uh, some of his uh, pleading saying, uh, uh, Father, forgive Rick and help him through his uh, silliness. Uh, help him to always overcome evil with good. Uh, uh, bless him and be with him uh, in his infirmities that he might be stronger and he might overcome the weakness of the flesh. Uh, and I pray those prayers and I know the Holy Spirit's uh, praying uh, uh, things that can't even be an, be uttered for me, and I praise God for that. Uh, it blesses me to know that I have the hope like that, uh, that we read about hope. Uh, I've never seen God, uh, uh, but I have this blessed assurance uh, that by the grace of God, uh, I'll be there pretty soon, and in the meantime, uh, he'll never leave me. He'll never forsake me. He said, lo, I am with you always, uh, even to the end of the world, uh, and I'm standing on 
on the promises of God. Uh, standing, there's an old song, standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior, standing, standing. I'm standing on the promises of God. Are you standing on God's promises today? I am. And you can because you can be sure that God, it's impossible for God to lie. Uh, and if God promises you something, he's going to keep it. Uh, his promises are sure. Uh, uh, thank God for everyone. He has promised us eternal life. Uh, he has promised never to leave us. Uh, he has promised us streets of gold. Uh, and thank God forever. He has given us his grace uh, uh, to get us through the trials of life. Uh, and he prays for us and loves us. Us, uh, and sees us through, thank God, uh, uh, the tumultuous times uh, uh, that we might go through. Uh, I'm so glad for the Holy Spirit of God uh, that leads me unto all righteousness and all truth. Uh, uh, thank God I have found His Word. Uh, uh, thank God to be a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I've shared that several times lately, uh, but I'm so glad that we have a light in this old dark world, aren't you? Uh, uh, the, the world getting darker all the time and I'm not talking about the sun going down I, I'm talking about morals and ethics I, I'm talking about uh, leaders in high places uh, full of darkness uh, I'm talking about people that are evil uh, and uh, full of the devil uh, I'm talking about demon possession and people uh, uh, standing against God and against his ways uh, and people acting like Christians are the bad people nowadays uh, uh, this whole world's getting dark all the time, but let me tell you, uh, uh, the light of the gospel just as good today as it was when we was kids, uh, and it always will be. Uh, uh, thank God for Jesus. Uh, all glory to his loving and holy name. Uh, he has saved me, uh, and I'll read that scripture one more time. Uh, uh, thank God. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. Uh, the Holy Spirit will help you, child. Uh, just put your faith and trust at the foot of the cross. Uh, thank God, uh, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, thank God, uh, the Spirit itself pray, uh, maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. I say glory to his name. Thank you, Jesus. That's all we have today. This is Preacher Rick saying, May the Lord bless you, beloved. May his face shine upon you. Uh, in ways you've never seen before. May his Holy Spirit comfort you and pray for you and guide you unto all truth. Uh, and may you, thank God, when it's all said and done, be in heaven with the rest of us Christians and all of us. Uh, the saints of God will rejoice on the streets of gold pretty soon. What a day that shall be when my Jesus I shall see. This is Preacher Rick praying for you. Share the gospel. Push the share button. Get it out there. God bless you. We love you all.